Today we're going to the same cafe. Never serve food on an empty stomach. It stands for So All May Eat, and it's a non-profit um, kitchen, community kitchen, where you can come in and get a meal um, without the expectation of um, paying for your food. Hunger is such a basic, uh, basic need. That, you know, there's only a few things you need in life, and that's one of them. You have to have it. You can't go without food. You can feed people. You're, you're helping them out right now. Nice meal. So there's a donation box for those who can leave. Um, a donation, or you can exchange work for food. So most of the volunteers who are in the kitchen daily are exchanging um, work hours for food. Uh, I think it makes a huge difference to them that they work for food rather than um, just get a you know, hand of a sandwich or a slice of pizza. A lot of people want to take part. They want to um, interact with the, you know, they're so used to that exchange system that we've been, you know, all, everybody's grown up with here, is that you, you, know, you give something and you get something back. Um, actually, the donation box um, covers 97% of our operating costs. The other 3% comes from small grants from area businesses and um, corporations and families. The major difference between coming here and going to a soup kitchen is uh, there's a choice. Uh, every menu category has a choice. We don't want you to feel like you have to eat whatever we made that day. And then when we moved to Denver, we started um, volunteering with a small um, shelter here in town. And we were serving um, dinner one night a week. So we started talking to those people and they started telling us that there were no options for um, healthy food, like they couldn't get a good meal like we were serving on Tuesday nights at, at their um, shelter. So we use mostly organic foods, we use mostly uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, we do that because we want, want people to experience and have access to you know, these great healthy food options that maybe necessarily uh, or normally wouldn't have um, the option to go eat that. You know, they can afford the dollar menu at the um, fast food restaurants or whatever, but they can't really afford to, to eat really well. So we said we have to open our own place, and if we're going to open our own place, it's got to be the best of both worlds. So um, We chose the menu that we did here at the cafe because uh, those are the things that we love to eat most. Uh, you know, we chose soups, salads, and pizza. Um, that's what we really love to eat. That's what we love to cook. Um, that's what we're making at home most of the time anyway, so we figured it was just a, you know, an easy, natural thing to transition that over here. Pretty much Brad and I know everybody who walks into the restaurant, and if we don't, we get to know them by the time they leave. You guys are uh, very helpful, very helpful. Uh, it was really cool to have you in the, in the restaurant. It makes a huge difference to me personally, just because I'm here you know, some days by myself trying to get everything done, and if somebody can come in and even give me five minutes hands, uh, wiping off the table to do a dish that I can't quite get around to, it makes a big difference. And then that gets passed on down the way to you know, the 